were in a 2009 Maserati Quattroporte S. Very luxurious vehicle. Very quiet, extremely comfortable. Heated seats, of course. There's a massager in the seat. Very quiet cabin, double pane windows, which of course contributes to the level of peace and tranquility that you have while you're driving the Maserati Quattroporte S 2009. Very light steering. And again, very quiet. The suspension really soaks up the bumps. This car is all about luxury and comfort. But then there's also that beefy engine. Now Maserati, you may not be aware, but Maserati is actually closely connected with Ferrari. Matter of fact, you can typically buy a Maserati from a Ferrari dealership. Why do you buy a Maserati? You want to buy a Ferrari, but you don't have the money or don't want to spend the money on a Ferrari. You can get a Maserati. With a Maserati, you're getting that Ferrari luxury. You do have the beefy Ferrari type engine, powerful engine in a car like this, but this is really, really more dedicated to the luxury side. So with a Ferrari, you're gonna get a more edgy vehicle. With Maserati, you're gonna get a more comfortable, luxurious, and civilized vehicle. So again, with a Ferrari, you have more of an edge, more performance oriented, but still decent amount of luxury. You drive something like the 599 GTO, very comfortable car to drive, especially considering that thing is a beast. You want to get a private jet for less than a million dollars, then you want to get a Maserati. That's basically a good way to look at this car. Why do I, why do I say that? The, the suspension is so comfortable and so soft. Uh, it's even floaty to a point. Now, some of you might get concerned about the floaty making it feel uncomfortable, but no. They actually have the suspension dialed in just right to where, uh, you know, the handling is pretty good. The weight bias is a little bit more towards the rear. I think 51, 50 in the rear. Uh, in the front, you have about 47. So it's, it's more rear bias. It's an FMR layout, so front engine, rear wheel drive. That's going to give you better acceleration. You have more weight back there so the tires can grip. More weight holding the tires down so they can grip and just get that massive acceleration and uh, a decent amount of stability considering this car's weight is over 4,000 pounds. About 4,400 pounds is the weight on this car. So it, it's certainly a heavy car. So to have a car like this, you know, actually be, uh, you know, decent in terms of stability, that's quite impressive. Picking up our speed, not bad at all. So I made a little bit of a sharp turn there, about 30 miles per hour, pretty sharp. And I didn't feel at all like the car was gonna slide out of control or anything. Now a couple of things to mention. This car has a stability control system, an anti-yaw system, which actually senses the car's yaw. So the car is tilting to the left or to the right and it has the ability to, to, to intervene to stop the car from getting out of control. It's basically sensing that the car is about to go out of control and intervene. And it had a lot of different uh, methods available to it. For example, the ability to actuate the brakes individually, so, you know, uh, front right, you know, front left, rear left, rear right, individually to act to stop the car from going out of control. It also has the ability, of course, to retard the throttle to get off the power. So, you know, if you're doing a sharp turn like this and you know, it senses you're about to slide, it'll actually intervene to stop you from losing control. The thing, the thing that's very impressive about this car is for a 4,400 pound car, it certainly doesn't feel that way. Quite civilized, even in a situation where you're, you're, you're turning very quickly and the car is potentially uh, losing control, but it won't lose control. Uh, well, <laughs> within reason, of course, because you have the stability control system and the anti-yaw system, which actually detects if the car is about to lose control and intervenes. So this is the 2009 Maserati Quattroporte S, which has a lot of features. You have front and side airbags, 
Um, again, talk about the weight bias towards the rear. It's rear wheel drive, front engine. You have parking sensors, standard in the rear. There's about, I think there's four sensors in the rear. Uh, optional sensors in the front as well. These sensors are gonna help you to, to give you an uh, indication of how much distance you are away from hitting something. So uh, quite a nice convenience there. You got the paddle shifters here. You have the ability to control your Bluetooth uh, and volume control, control the radio all in the, uh, in the, in the steering wheel. You've got this nice uh, wooden steering wheel, nice and comfortable. Uh, and it has a nice feel to it, and it's a very comfortable ride, very, very luxurious ride, very quiet car. Um, you have the ability, you have a sport mode, you have a low traction mode. Sport mode is going to tighten up the suspension a little bit, and it's also going to change the, it's going to put the car in automatic mode, and it's going to, it's going to make basically higher RPMs, more power, you know, more aggressive shifting is what's going to happen in the sport mode. And um, you have the ability to act to change gears here as well as well as a standard you know, park rear neutral drive here in the center. And um, you have an electronic parking brake here, which is activated by pressing the foot brake, and then you pull that up. Sunroof, of course. That, what I really want to do with this video is I want to give you, put you in the driver's seat and let you know what it's like to drive this car. Fly down to Florida in your Maserati. That's what I mean when I say this is like your own private jet. And you're watching Carlisle's Picks. Share the video. I really appreciate all the support. Put this on your Facebook page, your Twitter, your your Instagram. <laughs> I don't think you put a video on Instagram. Whatever it is, put it out there. Um, share. The more you guys support, the great, better videos I can do. And trust me, we got a lot of awesome stuff. You're watching Carlisle's Picks, and if you enjoyed this episode, definitely subscribe, thumbs up, comment below, and most importantly, share.